Hey everybody, I've been um, I've been asked to do a um, little bit more of a serious marker introduction uh, with a little bit more light, so you can uh, see what we're getting up to here, and uh, ask for uh, you know a little bit more detailed uh, run through on the stuff I do, which uh, I'm quite happy to do. I don't have any problem with that. This is uh, Crazy Chicken, he's been playing paintball with me for about 20 years. Really? Children stuck down a well, you say? That's what I thought, we'd just leave him there, yeah? Cool. So, um, I'm going to start with everything you um, know, which of course is uh, just a standard iron. We all know what a standard iron looks like. Got this off Papa Bear from UK Scenario. Excellent price, thank you very much. Um, we'll turn this into something else later on. But um, I'm going to show you what we can do with the iron. Um, so there's your standard iron. We all know and love it very much. Um, to start with, um, I do side feet bodies for the iron. Uh, I picked these uh, metal sim bodies up from uh, Ultimate Paintball in the States. They're uh, very good to me and they ship to the UK. Um, fantastic guys. If you go over there, just say Gommy sent you. And uh, they'll probably charge you a bit more. But uh, don't worry too much about that. Um, Next we're going to go on to uh, what I've been doing with the SP1s, which uh, a lot of you have seen this before, but uh, not so much in a serious content. Now, um, I have to explain that at this stage I've got a bit of an infestation in the workshop, and uh, I keep getting small American wrestlers turn up, and they just turn up from everywhere. I'm not too sure where they are, but uh, if you see one, shout out, he's behind you, <laughs> alright, and uh, we're uh, getting, so there's uh, that SP, look, there's one there, look, look, it just so happens that I have a can of uh, Wrestler Be Gone. <laughs> yeah. Is he gone? Oh no, he's still there. See, works really well, you don't have to hit him hardly at all. Right, so um, from that uh, aisle, we went to the SP1. I've uh, been looking at SP1s again. I've come up with a mechanically mounted uh, rip clip to an SP1 body. Uh, as we explained in one of the fields before, this is going to end up being a ball pack with a trip frame right at the front there. There's your rip clip, 90 degree feed straight into the uh, fire chamber, mechanically mounted. So, yeah, you can take this on the car, do whatever you want with it. So, we've gone through those. Um, Another um, version of those side feeds is uh, my bull pups. Um, why people are putting paintball markers inside airsoft shells, I've got no idea at all. When was the last time you saw a soldier wearing a paintball mask? And uh, it just doesn't happen, does it? Oh, bloody hell, look. Look. You see what I mean? You see what I have to put up with? Bloody small American wrestlers infestating my workshop. Hang on, I'll just do with this one. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, so it's a bit more better this time. Right, that's got them. There's a nest of them actually. Um, so, trying to cut down on the amount of hours I put into these markers when I'm actually making them. And sort of making to look things back to being simple again, I came up with these um, simple side feeds. Um, Oh yeah, I did say side feet. Come on. Yeah, sorry, I meant centre feet. Thank you, chicken. No, it on. Anyway, so um, here's a um, simple eye on it, semi slung back. Uh, the whole body's moved back by about three and a half inches. Again, centre feet, low profile. Still, I wanted to get it lower, and um, that's where this bugger comes from. The old rotor there, as you can see. Actually, it's, it's really this rotor I've been waiting for. Um, the problem with the uh, halos there is uh, you've got the rip wheel on the bottom, and because of that rip wheel, I can't drop that halo completely down. Um, with the rotor, of course, I can do a lot more. Remachine the fire chamber. Basically, the, um, the feed stub from the actual hopper sits right inside the uh, fire chamber. We've thrown the whole thing back by about three and a half inches. We've put a lovely big long silencer on there. Um, it's only really quiet when you've got paint in, so 
if I was to guess it and shoot it, it would sound quite loud. Plus I'm in the confined space of a uh, concrete workshop here, it works like an amplifier. So if you want to hear it, you've got to be standing next to me when we're out in the field. Um, lovely shape though, you can get right behind it, tuck behind it, doesn't touch your mask. You can even sight over the top of the hopper. How's that? So I can sight down the centre of the gun with a centre feed, isn't that clever? Uh, so, that's about it for now. Uh, I think we're three of small American wrestlers. I can't see any. No? Uh, how are you doing, chicken? <laughs> He's alright. So, we'll see you next week. Bye! What have you done? Andy, speak to me, man. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty mad, man. He got me, got him, brother. He, he used that Andy wrestles for each hand, man. Oh, no! Wax my muscles now, man. Uh, funky chicken. Is is look out. <laughs> what the hell's that, man? <laughs> it sounds like the killer chicken. <laughs> this has been a production by Gummy404 at UKScenario.com. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, buddy, how's it going, man? You feeling much better, man? Hey, buddy, how are you doing, man? Oh, it's over there. What's wrong with the way? Oh, you have to leave now. Hey, no, come on, man. I don't want to go. Hey, come on, buddy. We all know you're like a good time with me, huh? No, oh, it's going to really. Uh, you should go. I got, got to go to sleep. No, no, no. You ain't got to go to sleep, man. The guy's gone for the day, man. We can play with his workshop, do whatever we want, man. Hey, let me help you make your bed, man. <coughs> oh, no. You cheated, boss. It's the chicken. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, chicken, baby. <laughs>